How's it going every day? This is a bit different, it's not cosy. Uh, aye, it's not cosy, which it seems to be all that we've done for the last six months or something. What's weird is I actually videoed a first part to this video. Um, six months ago or something, I don't know. I think when we went. Uh, when we very first started video and stuff, I videoed the first part of this. This is actually, uh, this is actually Amber's track car. You've never seen it before, but this is Amber's track car. It's not been on track for about a year. Uh, is that a dig? Ah, it's a dig. I needed a turbo. Okay. What it is, it's an MG ZR. Uh, I don't know, what was it originally? What is it on the book? A 1.4. A 1.4. Uh, we've got a 2 litre turbo engine in it, with a Rover 220, a Tomcat 2 litre turbo. Made, what power did it make that day on the dyno? 203. 203 horsepower. That's on Andy's dyno. And Andy, at AG Motorsport. Since then, we've just done a couple of track days, we've done anything else, apart from fixed the exhaust, because the exhaust was all a bit shit and rotten and all that. So we needed a side exit for it, because cause it's a good side exit, so we needed a side exit. But apart from that, everything else on its standard, but the one thing, where is the turbo? Oh, it's in here. The one thing we had wrote mm -hmm. is this is obviously a turbo for it that got rebuilt because the turbo failed. Um, but when it failed, it damaged the when it failed, it damaged the housing. So what they've done is uh, they've machined the housing out and fitted a bigger sh shaft and blades and inners and stuff. Uh, I don't know how technically you want to go there, but it's going to make me a bus now. Well, no more boost, but more power. Because it's slightly bigger inside. No, no monster big inside, but it's bigger than it was inside, so... Boy, what a ton of big cock! Mm. Turbo again. Yay! Nice as well. That is a rough steer and looking. Why don't you tell the channel what that is to you? A budget track car and what you're going to use it for and stuff? That's more or less you've just summed up. What's what you're going to use it for and stuff? You, you can be another Well, eventually he'll climb once I actually got right to driving it. <laughs> Nobody needs to see this ugly face. Go. No. Go. No, I've got my pink hat on and my hair stuffed in it. So Scott's doing stuff to the car just now and he's positioned there beside the bathroom which is wafting the smell of pee towards me and it's not nice but Scott's complained that my car is not getting enough air through so he was going to start packing at my bumper I was saying when you look at the radiator It's a shit looking radiator okay it's just a standard radio, but it's only this bottom bit here that's getting air when you hold it up behind the bumper. This bit's all covered with the bumper. So I'm, uh, I'm saying to Amber because we had we did it to an open track night about a year ago, um, and it was alright for like 15 minutes or so. And I did a wee drive it as well and get a bit of death. And Amber went back out in it, and then I think it was because of the constant running and not getting enough air through there. It started overheating. Obviously, the turbo cam's going to get hot, but it was overheating. So I'm thinking, cut a bit off the bumper and put some holes in it and get a bit more airflow through there. No, if you had your choice, it would have like no holes in it and it would just all be cut away. Aye, that's how you get most air. You just cut bits, you cut bits clean off, there's loads of air goes through. The holes, you only a wee bit of air goes through, but it's better than nothing, so I'm happy with I don't that. want an ugly looking bumper. Okay, granted, it's an MG, so it's not that pretty, anyways, but. I'm going to cut holes in it, I'm going to draw holes in it, and I'm going to measure it so it looks semi-decent. Yeah! I've started off with four small holes, or five, because I clearly can't count. Stop laughing at me. I'm really bad at math. Or is it maths? I'm really bad at it anyways. English is my thing, and even at that I still can't spell. But I still get an eight high in English, so I think it counts for something. Oh, so it's gone. This is the next day. I, I'm always spending every five minutes a night, and I'll probably spend an RV bit in the morning, and that should be it done. Uh, the water pipe, I, I think Amber's getting the water pipes back, but when I was talking to Alice the other day, he said since it was overheating and that in the past, he would try and run without 
uh, without any water cooling in the turbo just to see if that helps. He says he does it for all the causes and uh, even even his big red escort. But I don't think he's ever seen yet, but he had an engine bolt for fuel motorsport and that for it and that doesn't run any water cooling and that's 750, 800 horsepower, something crazy like that. So I'm just going to go, go without water cooling. I've done a couple of cars in the past and I've never had an issue there. Oh, uh, so I'm just going to go for that, so I'm just going to move on up to now and then I'll fire up, I'm just going to run up to temp, make sure everything's fine and tomorrow I'll get a wee test drive and it's just to finish off doing the bumper and put the bumper back on and that's it, that's it, there you go basically have a wee quick look at the brakes and that and hopefully get a track there in a couple of weeks with it, Amber hopefully Amber's motor done, just about done. Alice, this, this is a different day. <laughs> uh, this isn't the three My bag's fixed! Yes! <laughs> Alice, this is a practical fix today. Uh, so this is us. I think this will be just about done. Just got to tidy up the bumper, put the bumper back on, and then that's it. Should hopefully be able to go for a track day at that. Uh, so, what we've done today is. Um, Moved the battery because obviously the battery used to sit here and it was always a nightmare. And I actually got Amber's battery back, so she's using my battery at the cosy. And moved ECU because ECU used to be cable tied onto the back of the headlight and I was all scared in case it got smashed. And moved the air filter there because it used to sit on the exhaust basically. Uh, so that's that. So I'm just going to make sure it still fires up because I've moved ECU and probably that's won't. that. It probably won't. <laughs> You've never heard this thing, have you? No. Oh, it is loud, by the way. So in the next video we're going to do with the dump valve and try and, try and get it to charter <laughs> and there it'll be ready for a track day because they need to charter like if you're into causes you need that to charter You need to have a car for it All you need is something just to clamp that and that's it off No it isn't Because it'll just blow off in there Mmm, will it? I think it will It'll just run spring pressure and then dump Ah, I see Right, so in the next video we'll do that <coughs> But well, thanks for watching anyway. I hope you've enjoyed it. Something different, no cause for a change. But next video will be back to the usual. And I've been working on the cause the last couple of days. The engines are in and stuff, so that'll be the next video. Wow. Thanks for watching.